first of all, if we're going to bend the stock, we need to take out the trigger guard because we can't bend the stock with the trigger guard turned in the wood. But we take out the guard screw. Unscrew the trigger guard, take it off, we don't need it. Then put the, trigger, the guard screw back in its hole because with the bending screw holes will tend to close up and you may have a job to get the have a hard job of getting the screw back in or it'll be difficult. It'll be much tighter. It's not much it doesn't fit very tight in there anyway, but as long as it stays there. Then tighten up the the hand pin, tighten up the tighten up the breech pin. Now then. The next move we've got to find we've got to find some cotton cloth. Now an old t-shirt's ideal, but make sure it's all cotton. You don't want something with polyester in it because it'll melt. This says 100% cotton, so it must be 100% cotton. And then a pair of scissors. Now you don't want to use t-shirt and a t-shirt that's got a lot of printing on it. You don't want to use this part of the t-shirt because the uh, the colours could come out and stain your wood. That's better, that's quicker. Okay. Ah, oh, now I nearly forgot. This one has got a grip cap on the end of the pistol grip. Now, take that off if you can because that's, that's likely to melt or burn with the heat of the oil. I don't know whether it'll come off or not, but I'll give it a try. Oh, it's come off. Great. Okay, put the screw that holds that back in the hole, because again, if you, d if you don't, it's likely to close up and you'll have a job getting the screw back in. So what you do, you, you strip of cloth, you wind it around the hand of the stock, covering the pistol grip and the comb, Should be about enough. Then you tie the cloth on, onto the stock. Tie it as put as many loops as you like around it, then tie it. Because the string's going to burn, it's it, the string is all twine, it's just to keep it in place. Once the thing gets saturated and it's it all and hot, it'll stay in usually stay in place, although the string now you've got to use raw linseed oil. Don't use boiled linseed oil because if you use boiled linseed oil it will take off any bluing that the hot linseed, hot boiled linseed oil gets onto. But if you use raw linseed oil you'll get no problems. 
Uh, now, the next move is to saturate this lens with cloth. That's just the start of it. Right. Now, like the gas flame. the stock over the gas flame. Turn it. Get it a bit warm. Then add, add more linseed oil. It's it's warm getting warm so it's soaking better now. Now back over the flame. Don't get it too close. Just get over the flame. Don't try and not get it in the flame. If it catches the light, you blow the flame out. You blow it, blow it out. More inside on. Let's soak in. Okay. At that stage of the game, I'll give it a rest. Because I want, to, I, want to, I want to get the heat to penetrate. And I don't know what, what, what kind of finish you've got on this stock. It's beginning to bubble. Must be an old finish. It must be a, some kind of varnish or something. But it's beginning to bubble a bit on the, at the front. Anyway, the main thing is I'll get it bent, isn't it? Okay, t take a rest for a few minutes because I've got to leave that leave that for five five minutes or so. Let the heat pet down. Give it another rest. Let the heat penetrate. Sit down for five minutes and then we'll start again. <laughs> 